Hey everyone, it's Romaine Johnson. Just wanted to share a very interesting video with you. I saw a kid who presented with recurrent respiratory tract infections, aspiration pneumonias, noisy breathing, those kind of symptoms. It was an infant about 15 months old. And when you hear that kind of history, as an laryngologist, you want to take the child to the operating room to just look around and see if there's any tracheal or laryngeal abnormality. And I found something very interesting I'd like to share it with you. So immediately upon the doing the tracheoscopy, I saw this outpouching of mucosa, followed by tracheal malacia, a lot of secretions. Eventually you get down and you see trach pretty significant malacia. I would call it moderate. And uh, we also saw it a uh, early takeoff of the bronchus, but that outpouching in the Malaysia sort of reminded me like, hey, this is probably a fistula. Classic symptoms, um, and in this case, since the larynx was intact, this was more than likely an H-type fistula. So we went in with a suction catheter, and there are a variety of ways to try to cannulate the fistula. Uh, we chose this way because the patient was in suspension. And so here we are trying to put the suction catheter into what we perceive to be the fistula. Uh, a little bit of flailage, but eventually we switched to a um, alligators. And then using the alligators, we were able to cannulate the fistula. And so here we are going in with the alligators. And this worked a little bit better. You can use a bronchoscope. And then the bronchoscope gives you a little bit more leverage to put the suction catheter into the uh, fistula if it's present. You can also use a Bugby cartery or any kind of rigid object. We, you could even go in with an alligator or suction. We just wanted something flexible so we could also look in the esophagus at the same time. And then you notice that the catheter keeps going in and we could also see the posterior trachea wall bulging up and moving as we were sliding the catheter in and out. All those things really suggested that this is a true H-type fistula. And so now we're going in with a flexible scope and we're gonna do esophagoscopy. Just to confirm the diagnosis, and again, there's lots of ways you could confirm this diagnosis. I think we were pretty comfortable. We just wanted to make absolutely sure. And then here is the flexible scope. You can see the feeding tube along the right side and then we're getting down into the stomach, and there you go. There's the catheter along with the feeding tube, and I'm sorry, down into the esophagus. There's a the catheter along with the feeding tube, and we have confirmed our diagnosis. So pretty interesting case. H-type fistula, they're pretty rare. Um, thanks for watching.